Hey guys, it's Rain. Welcome to this Coffee Letters Home Decor DIY. This one is pretty simple to make and I think it looks super cute. So I'm just gonna be using this wood letters that I got at Walmart from like the arts and crafts section and I'm using a C, an O, two F's and two E's. Then I'm going to be using this base, this wood base that I got at Hobby Lobby. So this is what I have so far and I'm just going to be arranging the whole thing how I like the letters to be. The letters are quite close to each other because of the base. So then I'm just gonna be working with my glue. I'm using E6000 and I'm just gonna be gluing them from like where the letters meet. I think any glue would work for this, except for uh, hot glue, because I feel like it wouldn't hold as strong. First gluing the letters, uh, making like three pairs to make this easier to just glue the whole thing. And then I'm just going to go and glue all pairs of like the CO and then the Fs and then the two Es. I let it dry for about 24 hours just because I wanted to make sure that uh, the whole thing was stable before I move on to next step. And to paint this, I'm going to be using this black acrylic paint and this brush, and I'm just going to pretty much give it a couple of coats until everything is just opaque enough. And this is pretty much what I have so far. I think it looks pretty cool, but I wanted to add some details. I'm going to be taking this leftover piece of foamy paper, something that I found around the house, like pretty much all my DIYs, and just this cookie cutter of a coffee mug that I never actually used. So this made me pretty excited, actually. My pen, and I'm just going to trace the shape of it from the inside, then arranging and adding like details of it, making this twice or more if you want to add more cups or mugs. If you don't have a cookie cutter, feel free to go online and just print an image of something similar. Painting this again with my black acrylic paint, giving the whole thing few coats, covering the whole like the front part, the back part, and then the edges. I'm just going to be using some like um, double sided tape and just tape it in them instead of like gluing them one here on the O and then one here on the E. The reason I didn't glue them is because I want to be able to have like two options with the details and uh, without them, just depending on my mood and if I want to go for them or not. And I think they look super cute, they look like hats to me, they can remind me of like mud hats and I really like it and yeah I just want to go for this I really like it it's pretty affordable and fun to make it has like a um, coffee shop vibe to my kitchen and I really like it and I hope you like it too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more like home decor DIYs that I have on my channel and subscribe for more but yeah thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you later and take care bye